And we're away here in the PA, the King School Chester against Clare's Court School. And this is the beauty of eights racing, isn't it? Just so much noise, so much speed coming through Temple Island in the re relative quiet going into the noise of the wind and a little bit more crowd as it picks up going through those enclosures you can see on that station. But it looks to me as though uh, Claire's Court just getting caught a little bit off the start. It looks as though they need to get a little bit more of those boards getting in a little bit earlier to just pick that hull up out of the water. But so far, King's School just are taking a bit of a lead. Yeah, it's incredibly important in these conditions. You must be sharp through the front to get those blades in. You can't afford that headwind to be pushing you back in the recovery when your boat's really losing its speed. You've got to get in sharp, get the load on, and then you've got to sit back hard. I mean, in the eight, that's so important to really have that momentum in the back end of the stroke. But especially in a headwind, you've really got to sit back hard into the breeze. And it looks like this crew that we're riding with now, the King's School, doing that really well. Yeah, it looks really quite cohesive from this shot. We can see that Hudson 8, that big shark boat, pushing straight through those little bits of popple on the water. And it looks as though we've got a really nice sense of rhythm coming through that 8. All 8 blades, as you say, Sarah, just picking up the water, really nice quick entries. And it's, it's not about just getting all the work on really hard in that headwind, because you know that work will be there. It's just about getting up nice and early, and as you say, leaning through that stroke, really making the most of every single inch of every single stroke to push that hull forward. And in that crew from the King's School, Giorgio Paletti, George Mundy, Hugh Hudson, James Jacobs, Archie Barker, Luke Dillon, Nathan Wilmot and Anthony Ordis, the Cox, Andy Pallet. Really dominant here. They have several lengths lead now over the crew from Clare's Court School. Desperately trying to get back onto terms, but I mean, they're just looking really relaxed here now, and that's sort of the benefit. You can still work hard, but once you get that kind of a lead, you really sort of get in a rhythm to relax on it, and, and generally the rowing improves, doesn't it, Cam? Yeah, it's always slightly easier to row when you're winning, isn't it? I always found that when, when you're looking back on that crew, I seem to remember quite a fond race in 2010, looking back at the Australian National A. It's quite nice just to be able to put some really good strokes down in that Great Britain A. Uh, and just come through the line focusing on your own technique. It really is a quite good training session. It's funny, I have no memory of that one. <laughs> uh, but we can see that it's a, this is a little, little bit of uh, vindication here from the King of School Chester, 14th at the Championship 8s in the school's head. Crew broke down there, um, and they've just really kind of righted those wrongs and come back to deliver a fantastic uh, performance in uh, the Tuesday of Henley. We can see they've got a real commanding lead over Clare's Court School, probably a good two lengths of clear water. And as we're coming through into regatta and then stewards' enclosures, it's about managing that energy to keep the hull nice and lively from King's School, but ensuring that you're not, as you said before, Sarah, really kind of getting down in the dumps and, and dumping that weight into the bow so it becomes quite heavy and sluggish. So Andy Pallet will be giving those commands. And this Clare's Court School, uh, which is in the Buck Station, so currently not on screen, there's some youngsters in that boat. Charlie Bailey, 15 years and 11 months, so a birthday coming up for him uh, in year 11. A couple of athletes in there who are J16, so we might see a big step up from these guys next year, no doubt. We'll be looking to come back to Henley and have the result go the other way, but great to see them here but really up against a class outfit from the King's School. And that's one of the beautiful things with Henley, isn't it, is that you, you, you can come to these big events like the PE, uh, you can be a J16, J17 crew, and you, you, you can qualify, get into this regatta, and come up against some really stonking crews and just gain that race experience. It's not about being the finished article straight away, it's about building that experience through your rowing career, because you can always add speed, add fitness, and add technique. Uh, this will be a fantastic race for them to put into that experience book and build on for next year. So well done, Clare's Court. And even to have a start here at the regatta, we saw at the qualifiers on Friday, 387 crews in attendance for only 88 positions in the main draw. So almost 300 crews raced at the qualifiers and did not progress through to the main draw. So to be here 
having a start in the main draw at Henley. What an achievement. But coming down to the line, it is the King's School. Ooh, a bit of a dust there catching the blades. You can see how tricky this condition is becoming, particularly up as they get towards the finish line here. Punching through a few gusts to make it to the finish line. It is the King's School Chester over Clare's Court School in this round of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup.